Since announcing his retirement last night, WCCO's Mark Rosen has been the talk of the town. He's not planning on leaving TV for a few more months, but we're having a pretty fun, heartfelt trip down memory lane right now. Uh, Mark, it's so nice. All these thousands of people oh, in so many different ways contacting you and sharing these great wishes and memories. Uh, overwhelmed is an understatement. Extraordinary. I can't thank people enough. It's been uh, ridiculously <laughs> crazy the last uh, 18 hours or so. And uh, wow, I that's all I can say. Lots of memories, but yep. we, we want to know some of your favorite. You're one of the best. Well, it's always, look, I wish I always said, I, I wish I could take everyone with me back in time. It's a hot tub time machine, go back to the <laughs> Miracle on Ice game on that Friday night. Nothing will ever top this. I mean, it was crazy. Remember, the game was not televised live. It started at 4.15 Twin City time, and the game ended at 6.20. Remember, I had to rush across the street to get on the telephone to call our sports department. I go on, go on the air to say, do you believe in miracles? The U.S. just won that Al Michael stole my line, <laughs> used it on the air. No, it was the most amazing thing I've ever seen. Well, nothing will ever top it. And, of course, we all know how this ended on that Sunday against Finland. And what about those Minnesota Twins? You know, I came back on the team charter in 1987 after they beat the Detroit Tigers. And no one expected this on the team from Kirby and Herbeck and Laudner, all the guys, Gaetti. Walking into the Metrodome that night, the roar from that crowd was something. I got goosebumps thinking about it right now. Had nothing to do with the game, the fact that the Twins beat the Tigers. They're on the way to the World Series. We know they never lost a home game during any of this. But that moment when we walked in the Metrodome was something to behold. And I think everyone, all the Twins players to this day, talk about that almost more than the games that they played. How fun. Yeah, and, it was cool. You've interviewed just about every Minnesota sports star, other athletes as well. I love when we're hanging out, yeah. how viewers <laughs> get starstruck when they come up to talk to you. Oh, yeah, right. Who has left you starstruck? Wow. Well, first of all, uh, Harmon Kilber was someone I idolized growing up. I mean, with Harmon, uh, watching him as a kid in the Twin Cities, it was always about Harmon and those mammoth Paul Bunyan-esque home runs he hit. And then, you know, getting to know Harmon as a young journalist and then being able to, to spend time with him, play golf with him and talk with him, the way he used to sign his autograph. He taught young players how to legibly sign an autograph. And Harmon was class personified. Really my favorite guy in terms of just everything he stood for, uh, the one and only Harmon Kilber. Uh, the other thing is, as far as being starstruck, uh, Sandy Koufax here in 1965 was a little kid out in the stands watching the Twins uh, play the Dodgers in the World Series. And, you know, 20 years later, Sandy came here as the honorary captain for the National League. There I am in the stands looking at the camera like an idiot. <laughs> hey, I'm over here. Uh, but, but Sandy came back here, he was 20 years later, a very private man, seldom did interviews, seldom. And he did a live interview with me, and I literally forgot where I was. I was so in another planet. I, I still to this day can't believe I, I was able to interview Sandy Koufax, and they used to say the left arm of, of God, and he had it. He signed a couple of baseballs for me. Nice. Tops the charts. Absolutely. Fine. Yeah. Good. And Harm was just a gentleman. He's oh, just a he good was, person. Besides being a fabulous baseball yeah, player. Absolutely. Just a, like, again, the perfect gentleman. And players always respected Harmon for all those right reasons. Well, we are enjoying memory lane with you. Okay. Yes. We've got a few more to go. Okay. Yes, we do. <laughs> thanks, you guys. And, and Rosie, everyone. if you have second thoughts and you want to stick around, we're uh, good with that, too. I'm right. good. I'm good right now. Thank right. you. <laughs> Would you come out of retirement? So many athletes do. <laughs> they do. Yeah. yeah. Brett Favre did a few times. Yeah. Right? Yeah. 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 You broke that story. That was fine. Uh, another one. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Hey, uh, speaking of coming out.